it can run, crawl, and do cartwheels. This is Boston Dynamics Advanced Humanoid Robot Atlas. It's all electric, capable of performing complex tasks like sorting car parts and maneuvering heavy loads, and will put these skills to the test on the factory floor. Scott Kindersma is the Senior Director of Robotics Research at Boston Dynamics. So we have plans for later this year, um, putting Atlas into um, the Hyundai facility in the United States, uh, just as a way to, you know, really prove out the current capabilities of the robot in the, in the real context of the tasks that we care about solving over the next several years. The robot's deployment comes amid advancements in artificial intelligence and large language models, which Kindersma said could significantly enhance the capabilities of Atlas and others like it. So figuring out how to bridge that gap so that we can take some of the smart reasoning, generalization capabilities of, you know, VLMs and things like this that are um, making their way into everyone's lives and apply that to physical intelligence on robots is sort of where the big research questions are. And if we do make progress in that in the next couple of years, that could be a real game changer. Challenges remain, including navigating supply chain issues like rare earth material restrictions, which could impact battery assembly for robots. Plus, Boston Dynamics faces competition from rivals, including Tesla. And while robots like Atlas could eventually end up in homes, Kindersma thinks safety issues means they will remain in industrial settings for years to come. And you might ask, well, why do we need to build elite athlete humanoids? And it's a very fair question. Um, and we think that the, a lot of the, the jobs that you might want a humanoid to actually do are the kind of jobs where it's basically backbreaking labor for a person to do. Um, uh, these are these are really challenging, ergonomically um, unfit tasks that we ask people to do or need people to do right now. Um, and we think that robots will be much better suited for those.